Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. Hey. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Radio Shack AM Flavor Radio, yeah, and Tangy Blackberry, <laughs> model number 12-201A. I picked this radio up for $14, new in box on eBay, and here it is. The box is kind of rough, uh, but the radio inside is brand new, so let's look at the box here. Radio Shack, catalog number, AM Flavor Radio, Tangy Blackberry. So it's a basic AM radio, there is a picture of it, requires two AA batteries. Let's see, uh, colorful pocket AM radio provides sweet music for kids. So it's geared towards a child, which is neat. Works pretty good, I've had it in use. Built-in speaker, earphone, rotary volume, tuning controls, carry strap, molded case. There's your UPC code, and pretty much there it is. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what we get. Right. That's empty, okay, so the side. First thing we got here is the manual. Pretty clear and concise how to use an AM radio. Um, I love this features in the front here. Your Radio Shack AM Pocket Radio has a built-in speaker that lets you share the music with a friend or with the supplied earphones. You can listen to the radio in private. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> 1995 Tandy Corp. Uh, there we go, installing two AA batteries. Of course, they have their batteries. Remember that? <laughs> you couldn't walk into a Radio Shack without them trying to sell you a battery. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do you need batteries? Do you need batteries? I mean, it'd be like, I'd be like walking around and they'd be like, do you need batteries? <laughs> you wouldn't even be at the, at the counter yet. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. So anyway, it, you get the idea. Pretty basic manual. Uh, yeah, we really don't need this, but I'm just going through it. Ah, here we go. Information specs. There you are. Frequency range, 530 to 1710. Output power, 7 ounces. Okay, notes. And it looks like we got a 90-day limited warranty. Cool. All right. Let's get to the radio. There's the radio. It's bubble wrapped. Original bubble wrap. That's nice. And then they have it in a little plastic sleeve here. Tape down. Do that. Okay. Let's go over the radio's dimensions. Okay. This radio is two and three quarter inches across, four and a half inches tall, and one and a quarter inches deep. Size comparison, I have CC Pocket, pretty close to the same size. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. I have a Iron Man, yeah. Cool. And then I do have my other radio, yeah. I have an older radio, AM radio, the Magnavox 39. I use this one all the time. Get an idea for size comparison there. All right. Let's go over features of this Radio Shack. Tangy Blackberry. <laughs> it's a basic AM radio, as you can tell. Uh, Left-hand side, we have this cool like rib design here and a little carrying strap. Definitely not a wrist strap because it must be for a child, of course. <laughs> uh, we have the on-off volume control here. There you go, in white. I like the white on black scheme. It's nice. Uh, we have, uh, here we go, Radio Shack on the front, AM band. You can tune it here. You can see the numbers, 530. It goes to 1700, I believe. There you are. Got the plastic speaker grill behind this grill, the two-inch speaker with decent sound, which we'll hear. Uh, you saw the tuning wheel on the right-hand side there. More of that rib design, which carries over to each side. Bottom is flat. It will stand up. Nice. Uh, back of the radio, we have the model number sticker here. See, it says it's made in the Philippines. And uh, here we got the earphone jack. Battery compartment, which we're going to put batteries in right now. And there you go. You get an earphone. Sweet. So they bundle it, they stuck it in there. So earphone, cool. All right, let's put these diehards. I bet you guys haven't seen those in a while, huh? Yep, Sears went out of business in my town. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this up and fire it up. So we're gonna do a little band scan, see how this thing sounds. Let's go to the bottom of the band. Uh, during the day, pretty much got local stations and a couple semi-locals. Nothing fantastic. It's a pretty basic radio. I'm going to bring this camera down a little bit. Go 
land area to provide tuition for families at half the normal cost. Just log on to halfpriceschools.com and you'll find some of Chicagoland's finest private schools from preschool. Bring this back up. I think this might be 640 or 650. Let's just double check. Um, here's my CC Pockets, 1032 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, in the evening. We're just going to see if this is uh, 650. Let's tune it up. Okay, so that's 640. Yeah, this, this radio doesn't have much selectivity, but you know, it is an expensive radio. It wasn't meant to be um, anything high end. I think this was like one of the cheapest radios you could buy. So I'd be excited if I got anything long distance. Shipping freight with a claims ratio and on time record that are among the best in the industry. Old Dominion and its over 20,000 employees score. love baseball and are excited to be the official freight partner. Traffic on the expressways and tollways on the I, you've got stop it. So it goes right to 720 here. Okay, that music might be Toronto. That'd be cool because typically there's no music there. Let's see. Okay, let's see if that's playing. Okay, so there you go. We're getting 740 CFZM Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Not bad for a little kid's radio. That'd be fun. Nice. Let's see what this is here. So we got a uh, ball game on WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Beautiful. Wilson Contreras will be signing autographs and taking pictures with fans. While you're there, try out your announcing skills by recording Here's a 780 WBBM, call Chicago. Could be heard on air. And be sure to enter the raffle for your chance to win the grand prize of Cubs tickets. I, I know what you're thinking, Jake, how can we trust you? How can we trust you? We've been hurt before. Here's how you know I'm genuinely happy to be here. About two years ago, a little less, my wife had a baby. <laughs> Everybody, I had sex. CKLW, Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, so a 270 baby. miles, they're having a comedy night. the opposite. Is there a definitive answer? You know what I did? I went straight to the source, which is the Office of the United States Trade Representative. And here is what it says. U.S.-Canada trade facts. U.S. goods and services trade with Canada. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Billion in 310 miles. That's the total. Okay. Exports were $340 billion. Imports $340 billion. Touchdown Kentucky! After 31 long games, the streak ends. Bill Ransom is no longer the last quarterback to defeat Florida. Juan Portella is no longer the last quarterback. Okay, exciting college ball. Um, this is WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Good things happen to those who. 
A50 is kind of mixed in there, barely can pick it up, but here's CJBC. Eight sixty CJBC Toronto Ontario four hundred sixty miles. And faint I can hear eight seventy barely. Eight seventy is WWL New Orleans, Louisiana, eight hundred and sixty five miles. So yeah, quite the little performer. WCBS, New York City, New York, 750 miles. Packing stuff. Very cool. If you wanted to, you could eight ninety WLS. Pretty surprised how sensitive this is. CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 600, 600, 675 miles. Sweet. There's the ESPN 1000. That's where I'm going to dial. Seems like it's pretty straight on. Man, if I was a kid with this radio, it'd be cool. Sounds good. Getting tons of stations. For a walk in the new fallen snow with the icy wind bringing a tingle to your blood and whipping the roses into your cheeks? Oh, you don't think so? Well, neither do Fibber McGee and Molly. Ah, oh, boy, I'm sure I ain't out in that snow. <laughs> Glad I'm not out in that snow, I mean. I'll take my flakes made out of corn with cream and sugar. <laughs> you know, I love the first snow of winter myself. You do? Why, sure, you'll have to admit it's beautiful, McGee. Just the um, a foot and a half of station snow. here is 1020 KDKA Pittsburgh. 450 miles away. Doing some old time radio on Saturday nights. I think this is 10.30 with another station over it. And usually this is WBZ Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. You bet. I love the show. And I just... 
We have 1100 WTM Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. From the Chevy Suburban in Paco. Or whatever car I get. It's just I'm by myself. My husband passed away. And I'm not carting. Cleveland, Ohio is um, 345 miles, I say. And I have two stepkids that went to their mom when he passed away. Tunes in pretty good. Barely getting it in KMOX, St. Louis. With the beat, you get more suction. It cleans better that way. And you can clean all surfaces, from carpet go. to tile, even the fireplace. And a lot of you have pets. 275 have miles. So 1050, and I'm not sure what, where the classic was coming from. We'll find out. Might have been imaging. Eleven eighty. Uh, this is W H A M, Rochester, New York. Five hundred forty-five miles. So like, this is cool little radio for a little cheapy. This thing's doing pretty good in the evening. Evening reception. Man, this is great. Did not expect the performance. Because during the day it was pretty quiet. the dial real slow here. Small segment. What I'm trying to get away from this type of attitude in traps in a psychic wilderness to make it clear that most anyone can do some level of this, that no one is going to be set apart, unique, special, and all that. And I think this is what's happening. Some of these people are seeing themselves as too special. And when that happens, you get yourself. In. I think this is 1530. Just double check it. Yes, yeah. Kentucky's but he picked Florida, but yeah. he said Kentucky will give Florida a very difficult time. And, you know, you look at the national odds, they were 14-point underdogs yeah. in this game, and they won yeah. by... Uh, WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Yeah, that's a 25-point turnaround right there. So that's pretty great. Obviously, we're talking a lot here because we're... Hello. Yes, Mrs. Abigail. Hello. Yes. Yes, Mrs. Wright. 
Oh, well, you, you know this, uh, this 15th century suit of armor that my boss in New York can wish me to buy for some client? Yeah, well, I remembered you said my only chance of getting one might be in some private castle, so... Uh, I give myself credit for the idea. Well, look, you, you, you think it's okay to approach Lord Kenway if I see any armor just lying around the castle? <laughs> sure. So, sure. on KXEL, it's Saturdays, oh, you know, I'm filming this Saturday. Well, they have uh, classic old-time radio shows um, oh, okay, between 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Right. and 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. <laughs> Exactly 25 minutes to get to Kenway Castle. This would be pretty cool as a kid owning one of these and listening to this. Some magic to this. Pretty awesome. Cool. Station's a little distorted here, and I think this is uh, 1610. Let's check it out. Yep, so this is 1610 uh, CHHA, uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. That takes a little finessing to get that. Okay, this is 1630, might be KCJJ there. Um, Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles, 1,000 watt tower. Taps out it. That's 616-656-1680. And 616-656-2619. That's 616-656-2619. You're tuned in to Michigan's fastest growing radio talk show. Okay, we kind of lost it there, but yeah. He said Michigan, this is WPP, w, sorry, WPRR. 16, uh, 1680 AM, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 140 miles. That's cool. cool here and that. Now, I hadn't heard the call letters in that in a long time. WPTX, Lexington Park, Maryland. It's uh, 685 miles away. That's pretty awesome, Maryland. <laughs> and I'm near Chicago. So pretty awesome radio. I think we're at the top of the band. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Do some final thoughts on the flavor radio. Tangy Blackberry. Yeah. I can taste the fun. <laughs> yeah, I haven't licked the radio yet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you see this radio, I know it's really generic looking and it's very basic, but wow, does it perform? I mean, if you, if you see it and you know, it's new in box, I, you know, it's from 95. So yeah, it's uh, quite a few years now. What is it? 23 years old. Wow. That's amazing. Um, very cool that it still works and that it's awesome. And that we're able to get all those stations, especially that last one at WPTX. Very cool. Um, so yeah, if you're a Radio Shack radio collector and you like Radio Shack radios, this is one to put on your list. Um, and maybe the different colors too, if you like color collecting. I'm gonna stick with the one type of radio. I used to get into color collecting things and yeah, that can get very expensive. <laughs> but this is actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed tuning this radio tonight. Wow, very, very fun. Very enjoyable and nice, just a fun little exploration of radio itself. So yeah, if you enjoyed this presentation of the Radio Shack, 12-201A 
AM Flavor Radio, Tanya Blackberry. Give me a big like. I appreciate it. I think it's a really fun radio. Um, if you like Radio Shack Radios, Realistic Brand, all the different, uh, uh, I don't know what they call them, Optimus, um, definitely uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon. I actively look and search for Radio Shack Radios. I'm a big collector of them. So I tend, you'll tend to see more of these on my channel. And yeah, check out uh, all the playlists on the side here at the end of the video for Radio Shack Radios, and you can see all the ones I've reviewed. Amazing. I love them. Uh, so with that said, um, comment below what you think about this Radio Shack AM Flavor Radio ch Child's Radio. It's made for a child. Can you imagine this? Uh, having a, being a kid and hearing all those stations at night? It's just amazing. Um, and I'm sure some of you were uh, young and tuned in those stations. When I was younger, I just pretty much tuned the strongest stations, like the locals, and never really thought about trying to DX or never really understood if I was listening to New York or not. Um, so I just... Whatever was neat was there. I listened to it. I would listen to old time radio, but didn't know where it would come from. I'd just be like, oh, it's on the air. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a fun little exploration of AM radio. I love it. It's cool. It's still viable today even. Um, it still give this as a gift to a child. Um, you know, children, I'm saying child. I'm thinking like an eight-year-old, nine-year-old. Somebody that could appreciate the uh, maybe a 10-year-old. <laughs> I'm not sure. Nine or 10. I think it's a good age um, for AM radio and, and, and radio in general. So there we go. Um, and then... Join me after hours over on Patreon, where you'll be pleasantly uh, shown uh, episodes from old time radio, like you heard on this radio. Um, you'll see pictures of inside of radios, um, and if you want to support the channel there, you can. Um, it's a little dollar a month, two dollars a month gets you a lot of access. So check it out, see if that's for you. I think it's awesome. I've been building it for you guys. It's a great community. Have a lot of new people joining up. Real happy to see you guys there, and I continue to post more on there also. So yeah. That's great. I appreciate you watching. And until the next episode, take care and goodbye.